summertime sports often center around baseball, tennis, golf, soccer, but at a Twin Cities park, it is always rugby season. And this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lordson takes us to Columbia Park, where you may be surprised to hear that the Metropolis rugby team has been scrumming for decades. Coach, find, set, <laughs> Everybody gets to touch the ball, tackle, everybody who's playing various positions and really gets involved. You just get hooked. Hooked to a sport that plays a bit like soccer, but with the physicality of football. No pads. I like, I don't necessarily like hurting people, but I do enjoy hitting people and just the rough physicality of the sport. It's a sentiment that's been a part of the Metropolis Rugby Football Club for 25 years. But clubs have been around the Twin Cities since the 1960s, and now there's a bit of a youth movement. In fact, numbers are actually growing for both kids and adults. My son's eight, he's into it, he, he plays rugby better than he does football. For Team Metropolis, rugby is the sport that brings the world together. There are 50 active players on the team, and many of them come from countries where rugby is king. On my sevens team currently, for the starting side, we have, I think, three people from Fiji, one from Australia, and then there's two guys from the States. Like some guys have pick up baseball games, you guys had pick up rugby games. Rugby, yep. You just all show up to one place and then have a ball and just play. Telly Seal grew up on the island country of Tonga, where his dad, uncles, and pretty much everyone else played rugby. Every day after work, after school, like all the community, the youth at the village come together to like a park like this. Just Play around it. That's how it all started. Let's go. Down. On the 10. 20 seconds. Let's go. Finish up your rep. Which is why Telly feels right at home at Columbia Park in Minneapolis on a steamy June night. Keep walking, boss. Keep walking. Anyone is welcome to get in on the scrum, including reporters. Unless you're 35 and older, you're considered an old boy in rugby. That's a term of endearment. So I've been an old boy for a few years then. Yes, you'll be, a, you'll be an old boy. If you're over 35, we'll call you an old boy. That's one, boss. Keep walking. Everything. Go, go, go. Don't wait. Don't wait. seconds. Falls on that side of Kavikai. Walk on the line up. And backs on this side. Practices are exhausting, and scoring can be a little complex at first. A try is like a touchdown in football, but instead of spiking the ball in the end zone, you place it over the try zone. If you kick for a uh, conversion, that's worth three points if you don't score a try beforehand. Sort of like a field goal. Metropolis plays games across the country, and there are occasional bumps and bruises. The worst injury was a concussion, actually. Broken nose. A few broken toes here and there. I just located my shoulder, but then right the next week, you know, this is when they play. <laughs> Youth players play flag rugby like flag football. The goal is like a life lesson, to work as a team with people from all walks of life. It's just very good for getting kids out there and working with other, you know, children of the same age. It's just, it's a good sport overall. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Metropolis coaches say the team has former football players and wrestlers, but some guys didn't play a sport before joining. Practices are on Tuesday and Thursday nights from 6 to 8 at Columbia Park. For more information about the club or about their youth camps, just head to our website, wccocom slash links. All right, good to see people out there enjoying the summer weather, but officially yes, summer this coming Tuesday. Tuesday.